Okay, so now I'll start my to build my my cover. What I need to do to, to start, I need to have a I need to remember that the cover have a th thickness, and the between cover and leads are a little bit of space, which is technical gap to fix them together. So you need to remember a couple of small technical details. So I'm now going to create uh, th this technical gap, which is very easy. I'm choosing offset. In this case, my offset will be kind of uh, 0 0.15, can be less, can be more, depends what technique of production you use. In my case, it's going to be 3D printing, so I think it uh, should work. If not, I have to work it out with the with the with the hand tools. All right, so this is the gap, and now I'm going to create a thickness of material, which I'll do the same th the same way. I I think the two millimeters in the 3D printing should uh, be all right. Okay, so I've got a couple of dimensions. Actually, I could put that uh, technical important data to my layers. I will, for example, put this to this layer. Let's change object layer. As you can see, everything will come uh, red right now. And I can lock it to not change it. All right. Okay. Um, so I can now work out with the shape. So what I can recommend, I recommend to use a mm, control point curve to make a nice and smooth ergonomic shape. And I'll start it with the, with this point because it's not changeable. I want to change it. I will just make nice and smooth shape around my uh, Gringer. So I have to actually explode this shape to get this uh, shape free of them. And then I can actually, this is something, uh, as, you, as you can see, this is something what Rhino 5 on Windows does, what I'm not very fan of. I actually, there are a couple of bugs like this. It should be one piece. So I can change it by just deleting it and start it again and then use it again here probably i didn't select i or, or unselect some kind of uh, thing some kind of comment well during mm, uh, creating process so now i will just can fix it again uh, now it's joined this is f this is uh, selected this is selected um turning on my control point curve and changing that point and remember now it's quite important part you have to have a planner uh, modificator on because uh, the second point uh, your creation will be uh, created at the same plane as you can see on the bottom here on the top window when i'm here in front my point is on the same plane which is quite handful and uh, very important. If I will unselect it, it will um, automatically create on the default uh, uh, this is x-axis. So I prefer to be on a planner. So let my shape to be like that one. All right. Always, I always go a little bit uh, out the shape to have a little bit more, I can finally cut it out and uh, fix it later. I'm not quite happy with this shape, but this is not a big deal. You can uh, easily now turn your points on. And actually, if you have a gumball on, which is here, you can work, work out quite nice and smooth with it. I like the gumball. And, uh, this is a very helpful tool for designers for creating. So you can work it out as much as you are happy. I'm not happy yet with this, so I will work it out a little bit longer. 
All right. So as I said, I don't want this shape to be a very different than my shape before, but I just want to be more ergonomic because I have been using this grinder for years and it always were, wasn't best in my hands. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. You, you can play with this curve as much as you need, uh, but uh, Okay, let's have a look how it, how it looks in a 3D. I need to sp uh, turn points off. This is great. So now to get the best effect, I need to turn this curve to that sh um, level, to that um, di direction. So I'll just move to top of a window and then select rotate. And I'm select from that here and then so align with this line and also I need to have a copy of it on the other side so this is not a big deal you just need to select mirror and your selection mirror will be zero point and select with shift somewhere somewhere uh, with Y axis look this is what I get and now, actually, I just need to make a comment, sweep one rail. Okay, this is a rail, this is cross-section curves. Okay, we've got outside shape ready to play with. I'm quite happy with this. So now, all, I all you need to do is uh, to extrude straight this one which is actually not very difficult you've got extrusion here and you just need to have a selection end or something to align with this uh, point to be exact and po po at point and if you made it something like this you see that there are faces which are too long so I have to trim using this one as you can see in that part all right so now if I join it everything will be one part if you click it and everything is selecting it's now one part great this is quite well done job so let's go a little bit further let's make a shell uh, I need to cap it make a cups from uh, from the top and uh, from the bottom cups is here right and now I need to go to the shell sometimes it's good to use only these tools but sometimes I prefer to use that tools because they are coming very much more uh, comments shell is here so look now I choose shell and thickness of walls will be two millimeters which actually I is quite pretty the same what I choose here all right, and I uh, choose top face to create the, and we've got a shell. So basically now all you, all you need to do is just print it, but it won't fix to the Gringer because there are no technical uh, technical mounting f holes and all the stuff is necessary to do it. So let's do it. So I found out that red carve it's my um, uh, top meal construction um, uh, container and I can actually hide this one for now hiding tool is actually something I'm using very often hiding and uh, in inverting selection which is very handy okay uh, 74 is a dimension of inside shape so to fix my con meal container I need a little bit uh, more so I've created this mm, 73 and uh, 0.9 here. Now I have to make a mm, offset exactly to that that uh, offset uh, circle. So instead of writing distance, I'll just show distance. 
and this is what I and this is what I've got I have to now delete it my uh, my circle and now I have to move this uh, part down to make the, the edge or to settle the, the lead the uh, middle so I'm using center this is gonna be 2 and for example 2 2 point let's do it one because it's in all right so this is what I actually needed now I, I can uh, show my objects and I will go in to create the offset inside uh, to make this edge you'll see okay the two should be enough I have to have a ghosted on and now I will create surface by surface from panel curves between these two offsetted curves and this is going to be my edge so now I have to explode my um, object and actually using this let's 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 make it clear I'm going to hide this bit and hide that bit to for you to be clear what's wrong you see I have to delete this because this is going inside so I will do I will do that one that's what I needed and uh, the other side okay I can't do it like that because I have to select more things so this is what I need to select and also let's hide it this one too and also I forgot to delete that one okay all right and now I can select those objects you using selection tool adding with shift and now I can just delete outside so as you can see we show the the rest of it I've got the edge mm -hmm. now all you need to do is just to extrude this curve down we're going to make the same at the bottom as you can see here but now we need to make uh, we need to look the the fixing stuff here where are they so they are I'm going to create a line helpful line and move it just a temporary line to know where where am I and now I need to delete my bottom shape so I will hide this one this one and also that one to not delete things which I might use which I might need okay now I will just trim the outside shape. Mm -hmm. That's what I needed. And I don't need uh, this one anymore. And now I can unhide my... I actually... Mm, now we need to decide what's going to be uh, high of the bo top bottom lift. Let's, let's do it three millimeters because there are mm, more tension um, on from underneath and let's shorten the top shape so we don't need that shape anymore all right we've got something like this and now I think I might need to create the same thing I know that I have to create a lead which will sit on that edge I have to create so now I have to du duplicate edge which is this one and straight on join it 
now it's one piece and now offset and I decide to be two millimeters all right great let's extrude this by three millimeters and also I have to close this loop one here that one and that one so I have an edge here and now I have to do the same copy the edge Okay, it's copied. Now I have to join it straight on. Alright, and now I can make and I I also need to copy uh, this edge because I don't have anything there. Alright, and straight on join. And now I just need to create a planner surface. Great. Now everything is capped. I've got a shell, pretty technical, uh, ready to print. All I need to do right now is just to join it. And now it's one piece. You can move it and check if there are some surfaces left if there are some some surfaces left that is test for you that not everything is joined i'll um, just control z making a uh, step back okay this is actually done now i need to create a uh, bottom lead and i need to create hole for cable holding 